in this kotlin on android development tutorial we're going to show you how to download and display an image using the volley library Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce you to the Volley Library and how we can download a bitmap display that using the Volley Library. So if we look here, um, if you sign up to my free YouTube membership, you will get the documentation here. Um, you can also just get the code just to start, initially start with from the git library here this is based on the very first episode of the series here for where we set up picasso to download the image so if you want to know the background of where we got the code from you can look at this tutorial here or you can just download the code from using this um, url of github um, members on the professional plan also get a video describing the steps as well just as an extra helper okay so we'll make a start for this tutorial first thing we want to do is to get the volley library so we're going to basically add that as a dependency to our build.gradle file now we can go into our android studio and this is, this is, this is just the base code as we see it from what i described before so i need to go into my gradle file and paste in that volley library and we do need to resync just to pull down that library that's now complete okay so we can make a start in the code so we need to go to our main activity okay the first thing i'm going to do here is just to create a value to represent the request queue so the what volley request queue is basically where we pass our requests and in this case it would be an image request so we do need to set up the volley request code so i'm going to select that as private it's going to be a value and we'll just call it request queue now i'm going to set this up using the kotlin by lazy so it'll actually get initialized when this value is first called okay so we'll call volley and in here it's a new request queue object we're going to add and we just need to pass in the activity itself okay that's now done what we can do now is create a new function just to where we do the loading using volley so i call this private we have function and i'll just call it load image using not volley you could say that in japanese um, Right, so the first thing I need to do is create an image request um, value to represent the value we want to pass into our queue. So I'll just call it value, and we'll just call it image request. It's going to be an image request object. And as you can see here, it's already pointing us to the library of volley, so enter that. Okay, this is going to take a whole lot of parameters, so we'll get started. First one's going to be the uh, URL of the image, so we do have that from the previous project. The next one, as you see here, is going to be a response listener. So this response is actually going to come back with the bitmap, which is also a good place to stop our chronometer. So we'll call the response, and it's a listener. And as you can see, it's a Kotlin implementation there. So inside here, we can turn off our chronometer. And here's this also, this, this call here um, also provides us with the bitmap. So I can just call out image view, set bitmap, set image bitmap. And we can just call it, which happens to represent, as you can see there, the bitmap itself. Because it's only one parameter being passed down there. Okay, so we want to undo that. And the next one's going to be, I believe, will be our image width and image height. And we can get those from the actual image view. So 
the layout parameters that we set previously. Width, and we do the same again for height. Okay, the next step here is, I'm just going to put my mouse over there just to get a little clue, it's going to be the scale time. Scale type, and we're going to want to do it center crop, so we want to keep the right scale, but we want to fit the whole image inside our image view, so center crop is good for that. And the next one is going to be the bitmap config. And I'll just use the top one there. That this is the most common one you want to use, ARGB8888. And finally, we need to set up an error listener here. And I'll just use a toast here. Ah, uh, could not download image. Words to that effect. We're not happy something's gone, something has gone wrong. And show that toast. Okay, so we don't see any errors there. So it looks like we've successfully created our image request object with all our parameters set, and we just pass that into the queue. So what was the name of the queue again? It's request queue. So call request queue, add our image request to that and that should all that's all we need to do for this function but we do need to call it so we'll just call it in our on click listener load image using volley okay we'll save that and we'll run that just to see if we can download the image okay so the application's now started i'm just going to select the download button And there we have the image being displayed there. And that concludes this tutorial downloading a bitmap using the Volley library. Um, just two main steps here. One was setting up a request queue to pass Volley requests to us. And one was setting up, in this particular case, an image request. And the biggest part of the image request was just adding all the correct parameters. As you saw, there was a, a, quite a long list of them just to pass into that and when when we were creating that image request object but other than that it was fine and then you at the end you had to make sure you did add that image request object to the request queue okay and so that completes this tutorial you can get if you sign up to the free membership you can get this documentation there helping you out um, the documentation also contains the instructions on how to get the code from github it's only the members on the uh, premium plan, the professional plan, who do get videos describing how to get the code from GitHub as well. And the members on the professional plan also get the all the episodes to the series available to them now, or else you're going to have to wait on a week-by-week -week basis of when they get released. First to the site, and then a few days later to YouTube. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch this one. Bye for now.